great question here about the timing of writing a book. Like if you're right now focused on various different things in your business, stabilizing your your uh, content creation process, your uh, maybe you're doing some net caring, maybe you're you're doing gentle launches, and you're just quite busy. Should you be going through the process of putting a book together as well? Um, well, it, you probably don't have time to do it in the five week window. I think that's probably unreasonable. However, I'm gonna guess that you already have written at least 15,000 words on a specific topic. And I'm seeing the person nodding right now, you know, and, and smiling. So I'm going to say, if you're, if you're going to come to these classes, you might as well see if you can carve out <laughs> half an hour a week to just go, mm, okay, it's, or I don't know, an hour if you can, but it's like half an hour a week. Okay. It's this week, half hour. I'm going to start doing the gathering of the notes into one place. Maybe you already have. Maybe you've been tracking your content. And it's a little easier for you to do that than, than other people who haven't tracked their content. I don't know. But yeah, I would just say, listen, um, inst right now I'm recording this in June you know, of the year. Hey, you could, you could do this process as a six-month process, say seven-month process, and publish your book in the beginning of the year, which, by the way, is actually the ideal time to publish a book. Um, and the, you know, it's like, as you go through the year, the, the, the best time to publish a book gets less and less, because why? It's like, you publish, if I publish a book in December of 2022, right? The book is published in the year of 22. And by the 23, January, the book is already a year old. It looks like it's a year old because it was published in 22. So you'd rather publish your book at the beginning of the year. So you have the whole year to say the book was published in 23. You see, so this might be a good idea for you. Just like, again, if you just half an hour uh, here and there, twice a week or an hour once a week, you could publish your book in, in six, seven months and it'll be a good, it, I don't, I, uh, so, so the real, the, you know, the basic answer to your question is I don't think you, you're ever too early to publish a book because a book launch, well, unless, unless you've been telling people, Hey, I just got. I don't know. I, 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 I can't see it. I mean, unless you just like, you know, someone who just got out of school and says, I'm now an experienced life coach. And they're like 19, you know, it's like, it's like, <laughs> you haven't even lived life. What are you talking about? And some people are like that, but no, most of us here are, are, are older than 19. I'm sorry <laughs> to remind you. <laughs> so you have enough life experience now, all, all of you here, to write, to publish a book and have the credibility of doing so. Oh, and Natasha, thank you for saying that. Cal Newport, well, one of my favorite authors as well, wrote a book very young after his career search. Yes, actually, that's a really good example. Uh, he didn't get famous with that book. Maybe, I don't know, um, but he certainly did that. And it was, a, it was great to have that credibility early on. So yeah, published author is just more credible than a non-published author. I mean, even people have never read your book. You can say, yes, I'm the author of blah, 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 book. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. So 